And what a week it's been so far for those not only associated with St. Peter's Peacocks basketball, but now the entire Garden State. New South New Jersey's Tony Caputo is back in Jersey City this morning where the excitement for the Sweet 16 continues to build. And Caputo, let me ask you a question. If you were a betting man, would you put your money on the Peacocks? Uh, yes, and some of us degenerates behind the scenes are already making plans to get that bet in on Friday when I'm sent to Philly in the Wells Fargo Center to get ready for Peacock basketball on Friday night. And I'll admit, I never ever in my life thought I'd say getting ready for Peacock basketball. But we are now, right? Again, as that man said, this team has just won the hearts of this state and the entire country. Big pep rally here tonight. We'll have more on that for you as the morning and the day progresses. Metro Atlantic Athletic Conference champs beating Kentucky and Murray State in the opening rounds, preparing for its first ever Sweet 16 tournament. The St. Peter's Peacocks are not only strutting their way to South Philly, you know, like the part of the Mummers celebration down there, but they're thinking big, big victory over the Purdue Boilermakers Friday night. You think about this, it really is a Rocky Balboa story, right? This team was simply unknown coming into the tournament. In many cases, a team like St. Peter's is simply there to fill the bracket. I mean, just to be like, you know, a warm-up game for the big names like Kentucky and head coach John Calipari. Well, they were nothing at all like a warm-up game for Kentucky or Murray State. Purdue, you're next. You're going to get it, and you're going to get it good. You know, those left hooks like Rocky, South Paul. South Jersey, South Camden. Now he's skating with Adrian. You know the whole thing. At any rate, 